Hello and welcome to another IT training video. This is part two of learning about the web. In this video I will be doing a quick overview between web content and also web design and consequently I'll be talking about HTML and CSS, two programming languages that are forever wed and a match made in heaven as you can see in my subtitle. I know it's really corny. Anyways, let's go on. So. If you're kind of familiar with the internet, you should be kind of familiar with these two web languages, HTML and CSS, they work together. HTML is mostly for the content of your web page. You can see on the left-hand side of this slide, uh, all the content is here. This is all the paragraphs, all the headings are here, all the images are there, but they're not really in a particular order. They're just kind of listed. So the content's there is just not styled. What CSS does is styles all that content. So you can see with HTML and CSS that you can get really, really nice. The colors, the backgrounds, the rollovers, things like that. Pretty cool. All right, so let's break them down uh, like this. So as again, I say the web content is HTML, web design is more CSS. Okay, so hello, my name is HTML. Let's talk about HTML. So HTML is all about tagging, and we tag things all the time. I mean, we tag our dogs, we tag our cars, we tag ourselves when we have to go to places and meet new people, you know, name tags, ha, ha, ha. And we tag other things, too, and I think we're all very familiar with tags in English. So, like, quotes, to be or not to be, that is the question. We tag quotes using quotation marks. There's an opening quotation mark, and there's also an ending quotation mark, and that's how we tag... Um, that in between these quotation marks is a quote. We tag books, we put them in italics. We tag sentences, ends of sentences, we put a period. We tag parenthetical phrases, we put an opening parenthesis and a closed parenthesis. So we are, believe it or not, you are familiar with tagging. And in HTML, we tag things. But instead of using a quotation mark, we use what we call HTML tags. And they look like this. These are two types of them. The first type is it's generally in this form, there's a caret, the name of the tag, and the ending caret, and then to end the tag is a caret, a slash, and then the name of the tag again, and then ending caret. And then we have another type of uh, HTML tag here, how to open it and close it. Excellent. All right, so this is, what is HTML? HTML stands for Hypertext Markup Language. So basically, it is a language that your computer can read so it can display a web page. HTML is the predominant markup language for web pages, and we use tags to describe web pages and parts of web pages. Uh, there are hundreds of HTML tags, and you'll learn them as you go along, pretty much. All right, so HTML tags give different attributes to different parts of your web content, right? So tags are surrounded by angle brackets, and I kind of described this before. And so these are some examples of real tags. So there's an HTML tag. This P stands for paragraph. So this tag will uh, tag off that a certain type of text is a paragraph. This div divides things up. It's a div tag, right? So this is how it looks like in real life. Uh, we have our content. We tag it by putting a starting tag, and we end it by putting a closing tag. And then, because this is a bold tag, it bolds whatever is in the middle, and so it bolds it. Some, there's some more examples of common tags. There we go. Okay, so that's a brief, brief, brief overview of HTML and its structure. Now we're going to talk about CSS. And when I talk about CSS, I always think of a command. And that's why I always, the title of this slide is Johnny Get There. Get out there and do some CSS right now. Okay. So CSS are built upon rules, lots and lots of rules. And whenever I think about using CSS, I always pretend that I'm bossing a little brother around. And whenever you're bossing little siblings around, you need three things. You need to tell them who has to do it, right, what they have to do, and how to do it. For, so, for example, if I'm going to boss my little brother around, and I want him to mow the lawn in about five minutes when I'm ready for him to mow the lawn, I'll say, little brother, that's the who, comma, I want you to mow the lawn, and I want you to do it in five minutes. So that's the who, the what, and the how. And this is some kind of a example of what CSS code will look like. We have the who, which is the selector right here, and then we have a curly bracket, and we do the what, which is the property, and then how to do the property. And we'll get more of that into the next slide. Okay, so what is CSS? It stands for Cascading Style Sheets. Um, CSS dis 
defines how to display HTML elements like color, size, and positioning. So this is what I'm saying. What like the who would be what type of tag. Um, the the what would be its color, and then the how is what color you want it to be. Um, CSS contains a list of rules, and there are three ways to insert a style sheet. You can do it externally, internally, or inline. All right. So the, what the CSS style look like? This is actual CSS code, and you can see here we have the who's. The what's are in this dark blue, and the how's are all in this lighter blue. Kind of cool. Um, it lists rules. Each rule is styling an HTML element. So you, the who's are generally either a tag, an ID, or a class. And we'll get into this later in a later video. But um, for right now, you can see that it's mostly just... You know, anyways, we'll get into it later. A CSS rule has two main parts, the selector and declaration. The selector, as I said, is the who and the declaration is the how and the what. So here we go. Selector right there. It's the who. So this is the body tag. We're changing the body tag. Um, declarations right here. And the properties, the what. So we want to change its font size or and its background color. And this is the how we want to change it. We want to change it to 14 pixels or we want to change it to this color hash mark 333333. Alright, so that is a brief, brief overview of the structure and the purpose of HTML and CSS. Uh, we'll get it more into more details on how to use HTML and how to use CSS in later views. I hope you enjoyed this one, and as always, uh, sign up for more IT classes. We get really, really bored here at IT Training. Remember, you can do that at train.byu.edu. Signing off, I'll see you in the next video.